Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my YouTube channel WordPress Builder. I am Muhammad Omar Farooq with you. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how you can create this type of beautiful hover animation effect when you hover your image, title, description, and a button shows left and your product shows right. So, if you want to create this type of beautiful hover animation section to your website, you need to watch full tutorial. So, let's start. At first, I delete this section so at first click on add new section and select one container now click on this height and set it minimum height now click on this bh option and set it 100 bh and set the weight 650 pixel now click on this edit column and set it vertical element set it middle now go to style and click on background type and select color and set the color like 7095 now click on this border and set the border all around 20 pixel now go to advance now unlock this padding option and set the padding top 75 pixel bottom 75 pixel of slot and left and right 25 pixel now click on this cubic menu and drag and drop inner section Now this is two inner column section. Now delete one inner column section. Just click on right click. Now click on delete. Now it is one inner column section. So again, just drag and drop heading widget. And set your title name. And trimmer. Now click on style. And click on text color and set it white now click on this typography option and set the font family poppins and font weight 600 now font size 32 pixel and line height set it bh -E em sorry em 1.2 em <coughs> and letter spacing 0.5 now again click on this cubic menu and drag and drop text editor now i copy this text and paste it here now click on this style and set the text color white now again click on this typography and choose font family pop-ins and font weight 400 ok and set font size 16 pixel and line head click on em and set 1.5 em and letter spacing 0.5 now go to advanced tab unlock this margin options and set bottom negative value 10 pixel now <coughs> now click on this white option and set it custom and set the weight 300 10 pixel now click on this cube menu and drag and drop button widget and rename button text by now now go to style and click on text color and set it back now now click on this background color and set it white and border all around 5 pixel 
and set body 10 and left and right 40 pixel now click on this inner column advanced step and go to advance now unlock this margin options and click on this in percentage and set it 20 percentage now unlock this padding option also and set it left 20 pixel now click on this cubic menu and drag and drop image in above inner section now choose image i am choosing this image and image size click on set it full and alignment set it center now go to advance and click on this with options and set it in line auto and click on this position and set it absolute horizontal orientation select it right and offset select it 215 and body and orientation set it negative 85 pixel now click on this transforms options and click on this scale and set the scale 0 0.65 now click on this edit inner column options and and set a class name and class name set trimmer text so now it's time to use some custom CSS code don't worry I shall provide all the custom CSS code into my Google Drive you just download it and paste it to your on website so now click on this main column and go to advance now copy this custom CSS code now click on custom CSS code and paste it here now when you hover you just watching some beautiful hover animation effect so so i think this background is not necessary so now click on this edit column now go to style and now click on color and remove it now when you hover on beautiful effect so let's check out responsive mode click on responsive mode and click on tablet view uh, tablet view also looking so good now click on this mobile options so mobile options looking not so good so let's <coughs> fix this problem so click on right click and set it and click on navigator now click on main section and set the main section y 320 pixel now click on this main column now go to advance and set the main column padding all around 25 pixel now again click on this inner section column now go to advance and set the margin 0 Now click on this image and go to style. Now click on this pixel and set it 180 pixel. Now go to advance and set it offset position 64 and vertical orientation offset position. 130 so this is uh, some problem we will see this is some problem in this position so 
how we can fix this problem just close this options and click on this main column and click on this custom CSS code just make it 360 instead of 320 now click on update now I can click on this responsive mode and click on mobile view so when you over your problem fix now close this options so basically when you need to change your circle color you just change this code like this like you you should provide black color 0 0 0 0 0 0 now it's black color so i remain same and when when you content background color you just set it your color code here like fff you can also provide black color so i remain same color as i provide earlier so now click on this update button thank you thank you for watching this video if you like my video please subscribe my channel if you have any question please drop a comment in comment section bye bye